Hi guys, welcome back to my channel one more time. Today I'm showing you how to get this makeup look using this new Wet n Wild limited edition collection. Hi guys, Leslie here. I just wanted to let you guys know that I filmed this video a few weeks ago and I lost my memory card forever and I just found it. So I am, fil I am editing this video right now for you guys. But the thing is, I got these products oh, like way back and I did this video a long time ago. Um, so I just want to let you guys know, I know that these things were limited edition and recently whenever I went to my Ulta, they were on sale um, because I think there's not going to be any more but i still wanted to get this makeup tutorial up for you guys um so excuse that um so i'm using this baked blush by wet n wild and this eyeshadow palette by wet n wild i'm also wearing this lip gloss i just go over a ton of new stuff that i've actually been just use the new maybelline stick foundation but if you would like to hear more in-depth reviews about the new stuff that i've been trying out in this collection definitely just keep watching Thanks, guys. Okay, guys, so we're going to start off with the eyes, and I will be priming my eyes with the Makeup Revolution Concealer in C8. I really, really like this concealer. It's one of my favorites, and I've been using it every single day since I've gotten it, so I highly recommend that you go out and get it. I'm going to take just my beauty sponge and blend. I'm going to use the Essence Brighten up banana powder okay, i'll just be using a concealer brush and this one is by elf it's gonna lightly go over everything today i want to use the wet n wild limited edition palettes they have quite a few of these that came out and i just got mine at ulta so i got the one that's called hasta la costa baby and it, they're just beautiful shades it also comes with eyeliners i think it comes with like lip glosses blushes it's such a beautiful tropical collection the transition shade is a little too light for me so it's not my favorite to use i mean i could use it to set my eyes just because it's so light. It wouldn't be ideal for me to use this on my crease as a transition shade. So I'm going to go into a few other palettes and just get some shades to complete this look. But I do, I am going to use this entire palette for my look today. A transition shade, I'm going to go into this Wet n Wild palette. This one is called Rose in the Air or Rosé in the Air. It's one of my favorite palettes. I've done a video over this palette and I just love the pigmentation. I love everything about it. So I'm going to go into this shade right here, which is like the perfect transition shade for me. I'm going to apply that in my crease with a just fluffy brush. This is by Face Secrets. I got it at Sally's and it's just a big old fluffy brush. Eyeshadow blender brush. So this palette does not have like a matte purple shade. It does have this purple shade here, which actually has like kind of a blue undertone. So I'm going to look for a matte purple shade, which was kind of difficult to find in my collection. But I did find, I did manage to find a matte purple shade. It's from the NYX Professional Makeup Beauty School Dropout Extra Credit. And it's this one right here. It's a little bit more purple. It's a little bit more brighter than the blue undertone, if you guys can tell. Let's see. Can you guys tell this one? In the palette is a little bit more blue undertone and this one's a brighter purple but I still like the way it goes with this look. I am gonna go in with a flat brush and grab that purple matte shade. I'm just gonna pack this on the we're bringing this purple all the way in the inner corner to all the way in the outer corner. I'm just gonna be stamping at first. I'm gonna put it in the outer V. So you want to grab another fluffy brush. You want this brush to be clean. And you're going to want to go right on the edges and kind of just blend out these edges. I'm going to go into the Wet n Wild palette and pick up this purple right here with a flat concealer brush. And I'm going to spray it with a little bit of spray. Spray it. Apply it from the outer corner into the inner corner. It doesn't have to be so precise. We don't want to take it above the crease though, just because we want to keep this color below the crease. So I am kind of just wiggling my 
my brush back and forth to kind of blend those purples out a little bit. Go back in with that matte lighter purple and go right like into the color just like the edges again just to blend the edges out a little bit so they won't be so harsh now we're gonna grab the turquoise color in there going with a more precise brush it's a like smaller concealer brush with that turquoise do you want to spray my brush again and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look down and find my crease and I definitely want to fill in that inner corner with that turquoise. So I'm just going to go in and fill in it, fill in the inner corner. I'm going to make a line of uh, barely touching my lid about halfway with the point of my brush, with just the point. I don't want to do it flat because I don't want to take up so much space. I just want this line to go about halfway into the lid, but I don't want to fill in halfway with this blue. You definitely want to fill in that inner corner and then messily, like just being messy, you want to drag this blue in. Just into the purple. And as you blend it into the purple, you just want to leave it. Like you don't want to, you want it to look really, really like messy but like it's meant to be there. Does that make sense? Because I don't know if that makes sense at all. I'm going to grab a wipe and just clean up my under eye because I did have a little bit of fallout. It honestly was not that bad of fallout. I'm going to go in with a peach liner. And at first I was scared to do this, but I already did this look, so I love the way it looks. This peach liner is really hard to work with, though. You have to layer it, and um, you just have to work hard for it, so... It honestly feels good whenever I do get it over with because I'm like, I did this. Wow. And Wild Mega Liner. You are my wingman. I'm going to go with the second layer for this eye. So I won't be priming my face just because I'm filming really late at night and there's no need to do that. So I'm going to go straight in with applying my foundation. I have tried out the Maybelline Superstay. Um, oh, I'm just throwing everything around. Multi-use foundation stick. This is what I've been using lately and I've been loving these foundations. The only downside that I have for this is I don't mind the, the sponge down here. Like I really don't care for it whatsoever. Um, and also they give you such a little bit of product. I've used this product about two, two times and so that's all I have. And so I like would rather get my Anastasia foundation stick which is $20 and you probably get twice as much as this I think um, it's just such a little pro bit of product and it does cost $12 which is not that much I'm not sure how long this would last me it's a very very creamy product and it's honestly one of my favorite foundations to use right now I've been loving it um, I got toffee and natural beige so this is toffee and this is natural beige um, and I've been using this one a little bit more just because this one's a little too dark so I've been blending both of them the dark towards like the outer parts of my face and then I'm gonna put the lighter one towards it's so creamy like it feels so good on my skin right now said so the only bad part about this foundation is that it's so like it goes really fast like I can just tell that this will go super fast I'm probably gonna have to buy two of these maybe three of them like a month um, if I use this foundation like as an everyday foundation I'm just gonna go in with a kabuki brush and blend this all together I want to try something new which is cream contour so I'm gonna use this LA girl pro conceal high definition concealer in express though so I'm gonna try to con or to um, contour my nose a little bit I just suck at making straight lines I feel like I'm just going to apply some to right here. I don't really have a big forehead, so I don't really need to contour up there or anything. I and then she always puts like concealer on the side of her nose to blend it out.
and I really like the way it looks. I'm gonna just leave that like that for right now. And I'm gonna add the concealer underneath my eyes. I think I'm gonna mix a little bit of this Tarte concealer in medium. And I'm just gonna go in with my beauty sponge and blend this concealer out. I haven't gotten a new setting powder, so if you guys have any like setting powders to recommend then definitely let me know so I'm gonna stick with my airspun and naturally neutral face powder I have mixed a little bit of the makeup revolutionary banana powder sorry it's like a pronouncing thing sponge and set my under eye are you guys loving this look because I'm loving it I'm gonna be using this bare minerals setting powder and it's in the shade camel 17 to bronze up my face, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Mega Glow um, Contouring Palette. This shade right here to bronze up my face. I'm going to go back in with the Essence Brighten Up um, Banana Powder. Clean up this contour. Yes, and then make sure to always get the side of your nose. Always get the side of your nose. For eyebrows, Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade in, I think, dark brown. I love this. I've been using it. Love it. It just comes like this. Away this powder. Lash Paradise by Maybelline. So the lashes that I'll be using today are the Eye Lure Definition number 126, and they are beautiful lashes. They're super dramatic, and I'm so excited to put them on. We're letting those lashes dry. I am going to try a new blush, and this is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Baked Blush, and I'm going to, oh, that's so pretty, that's so pretty. It has, like, shimmers in it. Oh my gosh, I love this. I really thought it was going to be really intense, but it's so beautiful, you guys. This highlighter, and it's the Golden Flower Crown. Add some under eye eyeshadow. So I think I'm going to take that matte purple, and I'm just going to smudge it on the bottom lash line. I am going to take this cream shade right here, which is for the brow bone, and I'm just going to put it underneath my brow bone. So pretty. I usually just like to put it right under the arch. I don't like to bring it so far in, but do you guys see how that lifted up my brow bone? Now I'm going to spray my face with this Essence Instant Matte Setting Spray, and this is like three bucks, you guys. It works so good. Like, I love the way this works. And with my beauty sponge, I like to press everything into my skin. I'm going to clean up my hair because I always seem to get foundation in my hair all the time. So I just like to clean it up with a wipey. For lips, we're going to do something crazy again. We're going to use this Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in order to calm it. I'm going to line and fill in my lips with this. I'm going to add this Wet n Wild Lip Gloss in Pout of Paradise. And it's so pretty. The packaging is so beautiful, you guys. But I'm just going to put it right on top, and it's so orange. I'm not sure if it's going to go with this look, but you know what? We have some peach eyeliner, so I'm going to add some orange lip gloss. Okay, guys, so that's it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up comment what you would like to see next and subscribe to our channel if you haven't and don't forget to click the notification bell so that you'll be notified when i upload a new video and i'll talk to you guys next time bye guys